Hey look, it's a 737 landing in front of us. Welcome everyone to my seventh training flight in my quest to uh, getting my private pilot's license. We are at KSNA Airport, which is a John Wayne, Orange County, California airport. And we're taking off from runway 20 left. It's mid to late afternoon and the sun was pretty brutal, staring us right in the face. However, the, uh, the sun visors helped. You, you really can't tell from the video, but they, they helped tremendously. All right, we're airborne. We're going to head over to the El Toro practice area, which is east of the airport between, say, Rancho Santa Margarita and Dana Point on the coast. The purpose of today's flight is to practice recovery from stalls. This uh, particular day is going to be for power off stalls, emulating, let's say, uh, an approach uh, to landing. Uh, so we banked the airplane a, f uh, a few degrees, I don't know, 15, 20 degrees, I forgot exactly what it was. And we cut power to idle, which we're doing now, and we're still banking. You can he hear the stall warning horn as I'm pulling back on the yoke. And there we go, we stalled, I'm recovering from it, giving it full power, and leveling off, and continuing with a v VY climb, I believe is what uh, we're doing. And retracting the flaps just a bit. Full level. Now this particular stall is a straight on stall, no turning, so you can hear the stall warning horn. I'm pulling back on the yoke, pulling back. It stalls and we're in a dive, but we pull out. That got the attention of my CFI. <laughs> Just kidding, he, he, he was paying attention the whole time. But yeah, that was, uh, that was probably the steepest I've ever pointed downward. And at no point I was ever really concerned. It's all second nature just to uh, pull out of the stall. Although it was uh, a unique situation for me as I've never seen the ground almost straight down directly over the engine cowling. Let's see that again. Woo! <laughs> Hang on. So we did a f quite a few of these uh, on this flight. I'm just showing you a couple of the stall procedures. Uh, we're gonna start heading back to the airport uh, now. And there's the John Wayne Orange County Airport straight ahead. Uh, we are on a 45 degree uh, intercept angle to the left downwind leg. And we're looking for other traffic. I think there was another plane on the left, the left of us. We're on the downwind leg. A beam the numbers of the runway. As you can see in front, there's some of the tall buildings at the Von Karman 405 freeway uh, intersection there. Uh, and are making our turn to base. Looking for some of the visual landmarks that we have to line up with in order to get a good uh, straight inner perch. Although I basically fly into the final of this, I don't really land the plane. Uh, my instructor lands it uh, on this attempt. I believe he now he has control, and uh, yeah, we're going by the book. I, I although I'm very confident I could I could land this plane. I have a few more lessons to go before I actually do. All right, we 
lower down like butter. We're exiting runway 20 left onto taxiway Juliet and I'm going through some instruction here from my CFI. We're cleaning up the plane, flaps up, landing lights off, and I'm preparing to contact the ground controllers for for permission and clearance to taxi back to the ramp. I'm writing it down so I can repeat it back. My instructions received were to cross taxiway Charlie and taxi on to taxiway Alpha. So we crossing Charlie right there and we are turning right on to Alpha. And I wonder if that's the 737, the Southwest plane that was landing when, when we were about to take off. Could be. Probably. It's the only one I see there. All right, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll get some better videos next time with some actual ATC communications.